Hi everyone, my name is Phil Gabri with thegabriteam.com, your Mac's preferred choice. Uh, today I want to talk to you about getting your home ready for sale. Uh, so we're at the end of January 2020, uh, so if you're planning on selling anytime this year, now is a good time to get that plan going for you. Uh, so where I would start would be uh, getting a hold of your mortgage company, finding out what the balance or the payout of your mortgage is going to be at time of possession or completion of the sale. Uh, also, you're going to want to know if there's any penalties. If you are in a term mortgage and you have a three or five year term and um, you're not done that term yet, there will be penalties uh, to close out that mortgage. Uh, some mortgages are portable, so uh, not all mortgages are, but some are. You can port your mortgage, your balance, your mortgage to your purchase. Uh, talk to your uh, mortgage company uh, about what the options are there. And then uh, going forward would be getting a hold of a realtor. Hopefully that's us. We would love to help. Uh, but getting a hold of a realtor, getting your market evaluation done, and then uh, talking about other expenses that would uh, you would incur for the sale of your home. Uh, so getting a home, home evaluation to figure out what your home will sell for so you know going forward what you uh, kind of money you have to play with. Uh, expenses would be starting would be would be a, a real property port. So I got one here. This one here is of a new home. Uh, so there is not showing. There's not showing any decks, fences, uh, sheds, or anything like that. So if you have something like that, uh, say you built your home or you bought a brand new spec home, and your RPR has doesn't showing what's going on uh, on your property being current, uh, what you would do is get a hold of the company that did your uh, original real property report, and to get a hold of them to do an update. Uh, doing that, you'll probably save close to half of what a new a real property report is going to cost. A new RPR is about uh, 650 to 800 in town and more money on an acreage. Uh, and then after that, you're going to have to get compliance, which means complying to the bylaws and safety codes of the municipality you live in. Uh, so you have to pull a permit for, say, your deck uh, if it's over two feet high off the ground. And the reason why they do that is you want to make sure that uh, you'd have to you'd need uh, railing on that uh, over two feet. It really has to be a certain height. Spindles have to be oh so far apart or so close. You don't want to have your kids being able to stick their head in there and choking or whatever. Uh, so that's what pulling a permit is and getting compliance. So once you pull your permit to build your deck, they'd come in, have a look, make sure it complies, and then you'd sign off and your permit's closed off. If you didn't get a permit, you can still do that. There are penalties. Uh, you can do it at the, uh, after it's been built, but there is cost that. And then talking about permits for your basement, uh, basement, same kind of scenario. Uh, if it was a brand new home uh, or basement wasn't finished and you finished it, if you pull permits, you're good to go. If you didn't, again, you can get permits pulled for that. There is a penalty on that, but you can get it done. Um, so if there are other ways of getting around that, um, it might be a little more cost effective. If you'd like to know more information about it, just comment below. I'd be happy to talk to you. If you want to reach out and talk to us, so give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you there too as well. Uh, so after dealing with that kind of stuff, then it's staging. Uh, so Christina and I are both certified home stagers. Uh, so that's part of our service. We don't charge for that. Uh, but what staging is about is showing good use of space and good flow from room to room. Uh, so an example would be uh, walking in from your kitchen dining room and going out to the deck, walking past your dining room and uh, it's tight, you're squeezing by. You have to remember uh, when we're showing, we're showing in groups and we're moving from room to room in a group. So it could be three, five, seven of us going uh, from room to room and it really augments uh, tightness when you're in a group like that. It's not like when you're living uh, living your life and one's in the kitchen, one's in the living room, one's downstairs. Uh, so you got to remember that. So flow is good and uh, so we would have to arrange that or figure out something to make it so it's not so tight so that uh, people are viewing your home and not feeling the tightness of, of that area. Uh, staging is not about cleaning off all your countertops and uh, making it bare and like nobody's uh, living in there and so on. Uh, then st staging uh, turns into video and pictures, because uh, once it's staged, then we're ready to take shots and stuff like that, pictures and stuff. Uh, all our marketing is done online now, so really good quality photos is really important to get onto the website. And then true video is really important for our marketing. Uh, and when I talk about true video, uh, we have the equipment to fly through the house or make it look like we're flying through the house. On acreages, we do have a drone, we do the drone video as well. 
uh, and we put it to music and, and uh, it's edited properly and so on, it shows quite well. And that's how we blast out, we are marketed, we get pretty good uh, uh, response from uh, videos. Uh, there are some uh, videos that are actually just still pictures with a little bit of movement to music. Again, that's not true video. And the search engines like Google and Bing, they rate true video uh, higher than they, wrote, they rate pictures and verbiage. Getting it out there on all the websites uh, and uh, uh, exposed out to all the, all the buyers uh, is very important. Obviously, that's what it's all about is getting out to as many people as possible. So that's what we, uh, what we would suggest to get done. If you think there's uh, things that need to be done to your house, you're questioning whether you should uh, paint this or fix that, uh, now again is a good time. Uh, we also consult on that as well, help you figure out what needs to be done. Sometimes it's not worth to spend the time to make a nickel back, um, and that's not the band. Uh, it's money in your pocket. So give us a shout. We'd be happy to, to chat or comment below, and uh, we will talk to you then. Bye for now.